Michigan State. I'm Andrew Abood. I'm from the University of Pittsburgh. I'm a freshman. I'm Zach Pierce. I'm from Michigan State University. Maria Bender, Chatham University. I'm Steven, and uh, I'm a student at Florida Atlantic University. I'm Inas. Um, I am a student at Atlantic College. I'm Sherilyn Baragas. I am a junior attending Villanova University. And I'm Helen Williams. I graduated from UNC Chapel Hill. In the past two days, we've been working in the cemetery, lifting um, some gravestones, cleaning up kind of the area around it. This morning, I was working on a grave. Um, we like to call it rich grave, poor grave, for lack of better terms. But essentially, there's one grave that's very extravagant, as there are many here in the cemetery. But this one particular grave is quite the opposite. It's just um, some sticks tied together in the shape of a cross wrapped in a rope. I got the opportunity with my friend Stefanos, and we were able to create a perimeter of stone around the grave site so that at least it's enclosed in. It was nice to be their family for that day. We'd like to share with you a little uh, bit about the woman we were working with uh, yesterday, and her name is Eleni. As you can see, there's this metal this metal bar all around the grave. Um, it was kind of offset, um, and none of what you see below existed yesterday. It was all buried below the dirt, and there was a tree. In the process, we found something pretty cool. It was a tombstone for another name, and we currently do not know where it goes, but it was buried under the dirt in between two graves that could have been lost forever, and now brought it up and basically bringing this back to life. Everyone unearthed so much stuff. I don't know how, to, how else to explain it. It was amazing that we could uncover so much and give back to these people and their memories and their family. There's so many graves that have been vandalized. Um, different things are in different places. Stones that belong in one grave are on the other side. And so it's been really rewarding for us all to be able to really restore the respect and the lives of these people whose graves they are. So uh, we're kind of keeping their memory and praying for their souls throughout the process. The last thing we did was lift the gravestone that had fallen. And I feel like specifically that if every single one of us wasn't there, that the gravestone wouldn't have came up the way it did. And it was kind of significant of us working as a team here at Real Break and how each and every single one of us plays a, plays a specific role in everything that we do. We've been painting um, the room together. We've been sanding it down. It's about 1.30. Um, yeah, we're just trying our best to finish it up and just do our best. Yesterday we worked on uh, one particular grave site in the morning um, for this woman named um, Andro Mahi. We kind of take them on as our family and um, after we repair them, we want to, you know, try to make them as beautiful as we can, maybe put in some flowers. We find ourselves wondering, like, what was their life like? What what happened to her? You know, who was her family? Do they come and visit her or any of these other people? So, um, regardless of whether 